Thanks for stopping by. I truly appreciate it. And this time we have a print off of the CR-10. Um, it's a depiction of, oh, what's it called? The Minus Tirith, 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 butchered, I know. Um, but anyways, it's a nice little uh, model. I don't think the CR-10, actually I know the CR-10 didn't do it justice. Um, and it's prompting a few other things, so stick around and let's see what it looks like, what we've done, and what we're doing. Thank you much, I'm Ron, and this is my place. So I've been struggling with the CR-10 quite a bit lately. Last week was just an overall problem, but for a while now I've been struggling with the CR-10. And mainly it started with, I kind of had everything dialed in, extrusion. I've always kind of fought it. I've, as we've seen through a bunch of videos, I've been fighting the Bowden tube. And part of me starting to wonder if I've also got a weak uh, extruder motor. Um, because that's what's really given out, is it, it seems to be skipping. Um, so anyway, I've got a couple things that I'm going to be doing. Uh, mainly because I've just finally am fed up. Uh, I've been saying for a while I was going to take the BMG and turn it into direct drive and that's what I'm going to be doing. But let's talk about the print first and see what it take what it looks like. So this is the print that is totally washed out. See white just doesn't show up. <laughs> let's So this is the print. From a distance it doesn't look bad. Uh oh, you can kind of start seeing what's been going on. I had to babysit this print the whole way because, and you can see more of it here, it's all layers. It's just, it's under extruded, it's inconsistent extrusion, it's just, uh, it's just a mess. Um, but the print itself looked okay. The concepts are strong. Um, each of these spots, I, I started out this filament, Maker Geek filament, and it prints usually at 235. And I just kept pumping up the heat, and then I would boost the heat as it looked like it was starting to clog, and it, it just was struggling. And the extruder was popping and scratching, and it was just bad. Um, but I fought it through, man, it almost failed a few times, managed to get it to go through. Um, and then of course, we all know my favorite part is yet another where you can light it up. Looks pretty awesome. It's good detail in this though. Uh, ignore the extrusion issues you can see other than the fact that it printed just horribly but we we know that so please don't judge I'm, <laughs> I'm fixing that more i'm just pointing out the model because this is not a model problem this the model's gorgeous and of course it looked like matter hackers i saw they tweeted something uh they tweeted that they printed this as well so leave it to me to be behind the, the eight ball so there you go it was uh it's a nice print it turned out like crap <laughs> but that's not the model's fault that's purely me and the uh, cr10 not playing nice together um, i just struggle with that printer for some reason it, every so often i'll finally get it all dialed in i used to struggle with adhesion and then i get through that and just been a mess um, so what am I doing about it I have decided that I'm definitely going to transition it to direct drive I've got everything printed out I popped a bunch of pet G in the um, mark 3 and printed out some piece parts that I will be using to mount the uh, basically the BMG is gonna
the Bontech BMG was going to go here the, with the E3 V6 hanging down below it. The stepper will be coming out the side. This is the plane that the uh, rollers are going to be on. So it's going to basically be going back and forth this way. It's got a uh, spot for the easy ABL and the cooling. It's going to use the same 50 millimeter radial that I have going right now on the fang and that'll go down like that. It'll only be cooling on one side, but we'll, we'll see. Um, and then this is for helping set the height. So now the only problem I'm having is, it's not a real problem, is that this side is where the extruder motor is going to be going into. It's kind of half um, torn apart over there right now. But I'll do a video on it the extruder motor is going to stick out too far and it's going to end up hitting the x carriage so it's not going to knit well it's not going to be right so this one's set up because a bond tech has a three to one gear ratio you can use and get away with the pancake motors and that's what i've got ordered now so it'll come in this week and i'm going to replace my current extruder with a pancake and I also think that will help eliminate if it's an extruder motor problem as well that's just weak for whatever reason. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to pop this on there and hopefully it will work out a lot better. And if I can get that printed and stable and looking wonderful, then I'll tear it apart and put the Flexion on there. <laughs> um, I'm hoping to get something figured out that I can actually swap between the BMG and the Flexion easily. Um, so we'll see. I'm, I'm going to figure out something with that, maybe an adapter of some sort. Because um, they both have plates that mount similar back here. So either with minimal screws or some clamping mechanism, I may try and get that figured out. So I can go back and forth if I need to. Anywho, that's what I'm doing. Uh, You'll see that coming up. Hopefully, you'll see a, v a video later this week um, where I've got some uh, where I've got the thing ripping apart and uh, putting on the new stuff and doing some prints. That's what's going on. Thank you much. Uh, appreciate all the comments and the uh, feedback on, on this. And uh, I'll try and get my uh, villain, my Batman villain uh, talks in somehow. Uh, that was one actually one of the problems or one of the concerns I had with going to kind of this setup is it's not really the whole I'm trying to get all crazy professional and stuff. I just was trying to make something that was a little bit nicer looking, um, but I do feel like it's a little bit more formal and less informal. So I don't know. We'll figure it out. Um, it's pretty much all I've got. Uh, you should print one of these and print it better than I did, please but maybe I'll reprint it once I get things printing again. So it'll be like a take two. All right, thank you very much. If you like what you're seeing, subscribe, hit like. If you hate it, don't like it, just feeling like you're having a bad day, go ahead and hit the like button or the unlike button or dislike and let me know why and what's going on and uh, see what we can do about it. Otherwise, have a great day and print everything you can.